Hello, my name is Ashley Emerson, and you're listening to Mary Bowser's Every Opportunity to Rise podcast. We're focused on creating more opportunity and making sure all of our residents know about that opportunity. Everybody, from Ward 8 to Ward 1, from advanced degrees to no degrees, from five generations to five minutes, has a fair shot. We're so excited to have you um, as the guru of housing here in the district. We've been discussing the programs and resources available for residents in the district who are looking to purchase a house. What is it exactly that your office does? Sure. Um, I'm the director of the D.C. Department of Housing and Community Development. Our mission is to produce and preserve affordable housing in the District of Columbia. Uh, we also promote home ownership and have programs that assist with that. Yes. And we are focused on revitalizing neighborhoods across the district. So combining housing with supports for uh, some economic development at the local neighborhood level as well. In terms of housing, I think everyone has probably heard that we invest more than any other city in the production of affordable housing. Mayor Bowser's commitment to the housing production trust fund is unprecedented. She doubled the amount that goes into the fund so that it's over a hundred million dollars each year. That's and amazing. It is amazing. And then in preservation, meaning preserving existing affordable housing, making sure that we can keep our housing stock. She created another fund called the preservation fund. It's really a very exciting time to be involved in creating affordable housing here in the district. That's really exciting. And a lot of the times um, we we look at other cities in comparison and D.C. is actually one of the um, the cities that produce the most. Well, we're seen as a real model. Uh, proportionately, we invest more in affordable housing than any other city in the country per capita, meaning based on our population size. And it really is uh uh, the mayor's actually been recognized with national awards. She just completed a term as uh, chair of the National League of Cities Housing Task Force and prepared a substantial report on not just best practices for developing affordable housing, but also creating a robust federal agenda to make sure that the federal government is doing its part as well. It's very important for us here in the district. Wow. So our mayor is leading the charge in housing across the country. You bet. That's really powerful. Thank you, Mayor Bowser, for that. Um, Just a couple of other questions. So if someone owns a home but have come into financial hardship, are there programs available to assist them in preserving their home? Sure. We have some at our agency, uh, especially for those who are single family homeowners have a, have a house, maybe uh, they're aging in place and they need some help uh, with maintaining the house to, to code with the roof maybe, uh, or they need accessibility uh, uh, adaptations to the home. So uh, a wheelchair ramp, a, a chair mm-hmm. lift inside to help with mobility issues as you age. And so we offer uh uh, very low, low interest loans that help homeowners do that. And some are even grants uh, that are for the homeowner with uh, particular income uh, needs. Um, we also, though, work with our network of housing counseling services providers. Uh, we help fund them with uh, some of our federal grant funds. And we know that they are also able to help individual homeowners be able to uh, maintain their home and preserve their home. Um, we also know that one of our partner housing agencies, the DC Housing Finance Agency, also helps those who are, are in danger of losing their home to foreclosure okay. and, and offer some financial assistance for that. That's the DC Housing Finance Agency. So are there any uh, age requirements or limits in terms of support for, for seniors? Uh, there, uh, no, I mean, I think that it's uh, their income. We, you have to prove your income and you have to sh- show what it is that you have for monthly income because it is based on need. But I, th- but there's a very, uh, uh, you know, we have a process for doing that and the, our, the housing counseling organizations help with that process as well. Okay. So the verification, yes. what information you need yeah, to all bring. All of that is available okay. on our website, but also, uh, which is dhcd.dc.gov, but it also is something that when you apply for the program, 
the housing counseling agencies help you with that as well. Awesome. I know um, Roots to Roots uh, is a huge, huge initiative coming out of your agency. Could you speak to that? Sure. Actually, Roots to Roofs DC is a uh, attempt to put all together in one place all the housing resources available from all the agencies that touch housing. One stop district. shop. It's a one stop shop. Okay. And it's to provide that information on if you're a, a renter who wants to become a homeowner, if you're a renter who is having issues with your landlord, if you are an, a district employee and you want to uh, move in, live in the district where you, where you work. Uh, we have programs that can help with that. If you're, especially on the home ownership side, that is where via Roots to Roots, you can not only access the resources, but you can also hear stories and, of those who have successfully used those resources. So you can get an idea of what it is like to become a first time home buyer, for example. And the, I'll tell you, those stories are really helpful. Um, we had a resident on in a previous podcast episode. And just sharing her, she's sharing her story and all the different tidbits of her experience sure. helps, inspires others. Buying a home is one of the biggest decisions that you make. And it's not ne- uh, always an easy process. You have to persevere. You have to be willing to work hard on your credit and to be able to, to, to do that. But you also, and there's processes for approval of loans, mm-hmm. but it's a, it's a path that many people have taken and we're there to help you through that path. Well, I'm happy to hear that. Um, So I I just had a question about residents and um, sometimes there's issues about affordable housing in the district. Mm -hmm. So how can residents get connected to affordable units, which are set aside in these new preserved units? Sure. Um, I can tell you that, uh, and we know this from not just community conversations with Mayor Bowser and with, and with other members of our housing team, that uh, affordable housing is the number one issue in the District of Columbia right now. The mayor has set a very ambitious goal that by, between now and 2025, we must create 36,000 new units of housing, of which at least 12,000 must be affordable housing. That's more than we're doing now. So it's a big goal, but it's one that we're all working together across the administration to achieve. How can you find affordable housing units? There are a couple different ways. Uh, we maintain a website called dchousingsearch.org. That is the, dot O-R-G, that is the uh, principle where all affordable housing units that we help support must register there and list there when they have vacancies okay. and when they're first coming online. So that's one source right there. But also, we also uh, administer the inclusionary zoning program in the district, which means if you are producing new housing, eight to 10% of that housing must be inclusionary, must be affordable. And we regulate that and we administer that program both for the developer but also for residents. So you can apply for the inclusionary zoning program through the housing counseling organizations and be part of the lottery to to gain access to those units that DHCD administers. So those are two really great ways to access some of the affordable units that we have been producing Oh, since uh, since Mayor Bowser took office in 2015. Well, I'll tell you, um, I have a lot of friends that live in these very nice luxury buildings through inclusionary zoning. You bet, you bet. Um, and They're all over the city. All over the city, yeah. all eight wards. And it's definitely a prized possession that we have here in the city yes. and something that gets people access into um, the different housing options that we, we have here. Indeed. So I just want to thank you so much, Director Donaldson, for joining us as we close out this season of Mayor Bowser's Every Opportunity to Rise podcast. You can learn more about DHCD and the programs and resources they offer by visiting dhcd.dc.gov. Thanks for listening to the EOTR podcast. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this episode. And join us next time as we learn more about programs and resources available in the district. You too can join the conversation by using hashtag EOTRPODDC or email us at EOTRPOD at DC.gov.